Are you listening? Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, we we'll see how to wrap uh, a texture around an object, you know, a face or hand. As you can see, uh, it looks really realistic. And this can work for uh, tattoos too, as you can see. It's the same, uh, you know, it's the same method. So we we'll see how to create something like this. All right, fantastic. So let's get to it. Okay, so open your other Photoshop and just open the image that you want to use. And for this, uh, you know, for this effect, like you need uh, the image and also the texture that you want to use. Uh, for this one, I will just keep using this uh, UK flag because I'm a really big fan of uh, UK soccer, so I just choose uh, the UK flag. And uh, the first thing I would do, I would just crop, uh, I'm sorry, I would just, uh, you know, delete the background for, from this image because, uh, you know, you don't have to do that, but I just don't like it to, to have a white background. So just delete it and fill it with the, the, the same flag I will be using for the face. Alright, so uh, I will just, you know, duplicate it by pressing Ctrl G. And I will darken this image in here by pressing Ctrl L. That will bring the level adjustment. And I will just exaggerate its darkness like that. And this way it would be easier like for me to select the image. Alright, somewhere like this. And I would go and I would choose the quick selection tool and I would just select the image like this as you can see. It will be like uh, really easy to select now because we already darken it. Alright. So let me zoom, uh, zoom in like this. And of course like you can always uh, by pressing Alt you can uh, deselect the area that you don't want to be selected like that. All right, looking good. Now just uh, uh, go to the refine edge in here, as you can see, and just one click to it. Now let me first uh, delete this uh, image in here because we don't, we don't, we won't use it. We'll use the, the original, and we we'll just once again I will uh, uh, press the refine edge in here, and I will just. Uh, check smart radius and I will make it the radius one pixel alright something like that and I will just feather it just a little bit uh, maybe one pixel alright and I will zoom for uh, the hair in here and I will just just make it a little bit like that to just make a kinda neat selection all right, something like that, and I will just press OK, and this will apply it for with the same selection that we already uh, loaded. So, and I will just go and choose layer mask. This will, will create a layer mask to uh, the same image in here. All right, now we we'll just I will just go to the crop tool, and I will just make it a little bit wider like this because uh, all, all I want to use is this upper body in here and I don't want it to be spread a little bit like that so we just make it like this a little bit wider like that all right and in top in here okay something like this and I'll press enter and I will just uh, place the, the flag in the back in here so would go and open the UK flag in here and I will make it a little bit bigger something like this all right something like that and I would put it in new places in the back like that as you can see now I will make it a little bit blur as you can see in here you can always go back to the layer mask and you know just work on our selection in here all right that's a little bit like this all right something like that doesn't matter because we'll make it blurred 
All right. Okay. And I will just apply a Gaussian blur to the flag. So I'll go to blur, Gaussian blur. And I will just make it look blurry. So we'll focus just on the image in here. As you can see. All right, it looks good. Okay, I like that. <coughs> now, uh, the first thing I will do, I will just create a, a displacement map because that's what we're gonna use. We'll, uh, we'll use a, a displacement map. It's a filter. Uh, so we'll just uh, make a displacement for the flag for our face in here. So I will just make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl G. And I will just apply this uh, layer mask to it. So I will just uncheck everything. So we will keep just the image in here. And I will make it black and white by pressing Shift Ctrl U. And I will uh, exaggerate its uh, its darkness. So I press Ctrl L. It will bring the level adjustment. And I will make it darker like this. And I will just make it whiter like that. Okay. Would slide this like this, all right, something like that. Okay, all right, press OK. Now we just blur it a little bit. So we go to filter, blur, cut and blur, and I will make it uh, maybe six radius in here, or okay, maybe five. All right, press OK, and now we just save it alone with the nothing else selected. So we just go to File, Save As, and I will call this Map because I already have displacement map in here, so it's better to call it displacement or map. And I'll press Save, press OK, and now we just delete this one in here like that. All right, now I will just load uh, my add uh, my. Uh, flag in here so we just again I will just load it like that and this time I will use it for the face all right so we just place it like this all right so I will reduce its opacity a little bit okay so I can see where I want to place it all right so around here okay somewhere in here all right in the center and press enter Okay, looks good. Now we just fill it with the uh, with uh, with black in the layer mask. So we just press Alt, one click, and this will hide the 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 layer in here because we fill it with a black layer mask. All right, now I will just paint with a brush, so it will re reveal uh, the, this texture in here. So uh, by choosing a white color in here, I will just can paint like that. And I, I choose a 50% opacity for the brush, so it will look like painting like that. As you can see, I just keep painting like this. All right, so you can see it's like you're painting your own face like that. As you know, it's uh, really fun to do. All right, so we just uh, you know fast this part in here. All right, so you will, I will see you in a second. All right, something like this, as you can see. Uh, it doesn't look that good now, but we'll uh, fix it, fix that. Now I will just, uh, you know, just make uh, the selection of this, uh, you know, this this face we just created. So we just press Control one click to the layer mask in here. And it will create a selection of the face we just paint in here and I will create a new layer and I will fit fill it with white with the same selection so press alt delete and this will fill it with white as you can see uh, this it will looks like and now we just change the blending mode to uh, you know saturation in here and I will make it under this layer in here this will like make it uh, look believable a little bit. Now we just, uh, you know, we just apply this uh, the the displacement map we just created. So we go to filter, distort, and I will 
choose displays in here and I will just keep it 10 by 10 for the horizontal scale and the vertical and press ok now we'll choose the same displacement map we just uh, saved in this case I, I save it as map so we just double click to it and as you can see it will make it uh, for the face in here as you can see it starts to look edgy if we go to the history panel in here, in here and go back and front as you can see it would make it like uh, look like it's been on the face all right now we just uh, change its blending mode to a linear burn as you can see and I will uh, lower the opacity for like 70% As you can see, uh, now it looks, look, looks cool, like it's been there. And uh, the white we just create under it, it make it like blend with the face more. As you can see, if I uncheck it, uncheck it, it will make it blend more with the, the color of uh, our uh, flag in here. All right, now uh, we just need like to work a little bit more for this. So uh, let me just first delete a little bit in here because like after we displace it, uh, it starts like to look edgy a little bit. So just delete a little bit in here, just a little bit. All right, something like that. I will just lower the opacity a little bit. All right, just in the edges in here. Okay. All right, as you can see. Now, if we zoom in, like it look a little bit edgy in here, so we just apply a blur to it. So go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I would apply it to like one pixel radius in here. All right, looks better now, and I press OK. All right, now we just apply a little bit of uh, shadow to it, so just to make a uh, uh, burn and dodge layers so we just make a new layer and I press shift F5 on the keyboard and in the foreground color I will choose 50% gray in here and I will press ok and I will make a copy of it and I will call this dodge and I will call this one burn alright now I will just change the blending mode to soft light for the both of them soft light like this and I would start with the, the dodge dodge is for the light because we will paint in white it will make it uh, you know would make the the light area a little bit lighter so we just choose 10% opacity and 10% flow all right now I'll just start painting so we'll make this area a little bit lighter like that to the burn in here and this time I will choose a black color and I will just make this part a little bit darker in the shadow in here something like that I just went fast maybe like I just you know keep make the shadow more I think it looks looks alright 
all right now i will just make a level adjustment so we go and choose levels in here and i will just make it a little bit darker like this okay give it more on the face and there we go it's that easy to do and it looks really cool and realistic we just make a level just for this one in here go choose level and then we make a clipping mask by pressing in this icon in here and then we just affect just image under like that all right all right there we go so and you're done so i hope that you enjoy and you like this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you I don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorials to come and you know try this for different images and have a nice day thank you for watching